Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I get this flat twist style and I'm going to be trying out some new products from Luster's Pink, so stay tuned. Hey everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. My name is Anastasia, or simply Stasia on Instagram, and today I decided to not be lazy and actually record myself doing my hairstyle. I've been kind of doing mostly protective styles for this whole isolation time, but last week the weather was nice, so I felt a little ambitious and I did a wash and go. And of course, wash and goes are fun, but then detangling them after is a nightmare. So I'm like, let's not do that again. And also it snowed today. So, huh. So I'm going to be doing a protective style and I was actually sent some products from Luster's Pink. Um, yeah, so this was a really nice treat. I got in the mailbox some goodies from their new line and um, the Shea Butter Coconut Oil line. So if you remember, or if you're old enough to remember, like I am, this used to be something that every single person, every single black girl, woman, man, had in their bathroom, on their dresser. Like, everyone had it. I feel like I had it up until I moved out of my mom's house eight years ago. Like, this is an OG. So, it was a nice little treat to be like, oh, I remember this. So, I'm gonna try it again and i'm also going to try some of their new products and see how they work for this style so i got a shampoo conditioner curl and twist butter an edge control and also a growth oil and a gel so today i'll just be using the curl and twist pudding yeah so i'm excited to try them out i i already washed my hair so let's show this so I already washed, conditioned, and deep conditioned my hair. And hopefully I washed all the conditioner out. <laughs> oh, I didn't, that's fine. Um, so I used the shampoo and the conditioner from the Luster's Paint Coconut and Shea collection, and it was good. The shampoo, I would say was like, it was okay. My hair didn't feel stripped, but I, did start out with a pre-poo, so I had a lot of stuff in my hair already. So that would probably affect your results. The conditioner I quite liked, and that's one good thing I was happy about because I feel like I've been having the hardest time finding a good conditioner, um, but it felt really good. It says it's smoothing and moisturizing, and it did feel really good to detangle. My hair felt smooth, and it, it did feel pretty moisturizing, so I was happy about that. So anyway, I have washed them out. I deep conditioned as well with a, another deep conditioner. I think there's one in this line, but I wasn't sent it. So I used a deep conditioner from Carol's Daughter, and here we are. So I'm going to do a flat twist style because that's what I do best. I'm starting on damp hair. It's not soaking. What? That is the definition of damp. Usually what I do first, I'll separate the sections and add my leave-in, and that makes sure that the product is evenly distributed. So let's start there. Okay, so I'm done putting the pink oil moisturizer all over my hair and I did mention that it felt like it coated my hair rather than like moisturized and soaked into it and then I remembered and I saw the ingredients that there's mineral oil in it so obviously it's gonna feel like it's coating it because mineral oil is very heavy. That makes perfect sense. So whatever, I haven't used many products with mineral oil in a long time so I'm kind of interested to see how how it feels after a few days. Like right now it feels okay. It doesn't feel bad, but I feel like this might make next wash day very interesting. I'll probably have to shampoo twice uh, just to make sure it's all out of my hair, whatever. We're gonna move on now from that. So I'm just gonna go right into the curl and twist pudding. This one has no mineral oil. 
and it's very it's very creamy all the products have a a more like light scent it's a little bit perfumey and creamy creamy is not a smell okay whatever it's perfumey it's very like fragrant so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and start twisting so the thing when I'm doing my flat twist style like these I kind of just do the back however I can do a few rows that are not perfect because the top twists pretty much cover everything and in this case today I'm gonna be pinning them up so you won't even see the back very much so I think I'll do three rows of twists and I'm just gonna pin well not pin I'll tie up some of the hair to get it out of the way and yeah when I do the twist at the back I like to do it in a certain way so I'll do alternating sides so I'll start with a twist on the left and then after I'll do a twist on the right um, and I know I did say the back twists don't matter too much, but of course you don't want your twists to be completely different sizes and this helps me make them even and about the same size without being perfect. After finishing a section or a twist, I'll use a metal clip to hold the hair in place and this helps the hair not get too puffy or the twists from getting too loose. For the front twist, you do want to be quite precise. So when I get to the front, I do one side first and then mirror the twist on the other side. So that way I can make sure everything's pretty much balanced. Um, and at the front, I do use the edge control because I want those twists to look extra neat. That's why I'm also doing much smaller sections as I'm doing the flat twist. Finally, I'm done twisting my hair. So here is what it looks like. I don't even know if the back is straight, but here's what it looks like after I took out like the little clips. And you could leave it just like this if you wanted to. So I'm gonna pin it up and you will need, you will need a small black hair elastic and some bobby pins. So bobby pins are these ones, like the, the one with the rounded edges that's open like this. I used to use, well I guess, okay I use the term interchangeably, but these are technically bobby pins and I would, wait, are these bobby pins? I don't know. I used to use the straight ones like the hairpins, but I found that that would pull on my hair a lot. So I've started using these bobby pins to hold the hair in place. And it, it's a little bit better. I find there's not as much breakage, which is good. So here's what we gonna do. 
Very simple. All you're gonna do, you're gonna take two twists from this side. You're gonna take two twists from this side, pull them to the back. And then you are going to elastic that in place. So I do it like that. Then you're gonna pull the rest of your twist down. So next, you are going to fold or roll or tuck these twists up onto those twists that you elastic. So the four twists that are elastic back are almost like the anchors. They're gonna hold the rest of the hair. Okay, I'm gonna take a few of the bobby pins That's it, that's it, and now you're set for the week. Your hair is done. Typically, I'll leave this in for a full week, and then I'll take it down. Sometimes I'll wear a flat twist out. Usually I don't. I just wait until the very last day, then I go ahead and wash my hair. The reason I do that, although you can get a great twist out from this, is because I don't like detangling my hair after I've left it out. So I find it's easiest to go from this, take it out, go straight to wash day. So yeah, so that's that. I think the only other thing I would do is probably like do my edges. So I'll do that, I'll put on makeup, and then I will show you the finished look. Hey everyone, so this is the finished look. I actually didn't come back the same day. This is the next day, so I've slept on this hair. I just wore a bonnet to bed, and in the morning I used a little bit of the edge control gel to kind of like tame the edges a little bit so it looked really neat and tidy. Yeah, I don't do anything special. I'll tie down my hair at night, and I'm good to go. It stays in place really well. That's one good thing I like about this style. You don't have to like reposition it or fix the pins or anything. It it sleeps, like you can sleep on it and it's still good the next day. Uh, my thoughts on the products. I would say the shampoo was okay. I'm not really looking for a new shampoo. I have a few good ones that I'm using right now. So like I'll probably get this one in rotation here and there, but it's nothing like game changing. The conditioner I did like, so I feel like the conditioner is one I'm going to to reach for more frequently. I like how it felt on my hair. The, the smell was nice, it was subtle, it wasn't overbearing, um, and it, it did make my hair feel very moisturized and it made it easy to detangle. Um, let's see. You know, some things from the past can stay in the past, and for me, the pink oil moisturizer is one of those things. Um, you know, when you know better, you do better, and I feel like that's that's kind of how I feel about this. And generally, I don't use a lot of products with mineral oil, and I didn't really think much about it. It was one of those things where it's like, oh, you know, they say don't use products with mineral oil or a lot of silicones or alcohol, blah, 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 blah. Um, and a lot of curly products don't have that in it anyway, so it wasn't like I had to intentionally try to avoid mineral oil, but when I used this product and I felt how it felt on my hair, I was like, okay, I now understand why we don't really use it anymore. So it was nice to try it as a throwback, kind of brings you back to a time when things were different, but yeah, I probably won't use it again. It's just not, it just didn't feel quite as good as I know my hair can feel. So that being said, I, I feel like it impacted how the twist and curl butter felt on my hair. So I'm gonna try that again with a different leave-in conditioner. So a leave-in conditioner that's really moisturizing. Cause I feel like the the twisting butter, it felt fine. Like my hair, my hair looks fine. It looks good, it's shiny. Um, is it moisturized? I think so. I don't know. 
maybe. But I'm gonna try it again. I feel like that's a product that I could use again. Keep that in rotation. Cause it felt good, it had a good consistency, it was nice and thick, which is what I usually like. But yeah, the 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 pink oil moisturizer I feel like uh, probably not gonna go there again. I I like the brand and I think I think the price point is good. I haven't checked it out online and I don't know what it's gonna be like in Canada, but I feel like they're usually a very reasonably priced brand overall. So yeah, I quite like the conditioner. I still have to try the gel. So maybe for my next wash and go, I will try the gel, see how I feel about that one. But yeah, those are my thoughts. This is my result and I hope you enjoyed that. This uh, nice and easy flat twist style. That's it. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have tried the pink Lester's pink brand any of their new products or maybe like are you still using pink oil moisturizer is there a better way for me to use it should I not be using it as a leave-in conditioner should I be using it as like a finishing product so that mineral oil can seal in all the moisture let me know maybe there's a way to salvage it anyway thanks so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and if you're not already subscribed please subscribe and follow me on instagram i post frequently there frequently but yeah um thanks so much for watching bye